Hi, Big Kips here, and I'm on the banks of the Grand Western Canal in Tiverton. Um, it's the 12th of February 2011, <clears throat> this is the first carping session of this year. So, I'm here today with my boy. It's his first night. Say hello, mate. Hello. So, I'll pan round and show you the rods and that, and where we're fishing to. Got mine out there, and the, and the boys out there. We're fishing on the wall. There's a few spots I know. So hopefully we'll get one out. It's a bit cold, but hopefully we'll survive the night. So, I'll be back very soon, and hopefully we'll have had a fish. <clears throat> well, welcome back. Um, it's half past seven, nothing yet. Um, Blake's had a bleep on one of his rods, um, probably a line bite off a bream I expect. It's um, not too bad out there, it's not overly cold. We've got that bivy heater on, so we're staying nice and warm. Um, I'm on the Tiger Nut and Maple Boilies, my own ones. I've had most of my fish from the canal on them. So, fingers crossed, by the morning we should have one. Um, all the rods are out on spots I've caught fish off of before. So, we're in with a chance. Can't catch them at home, sat on the sofa, I suppose. So, so yeah. Um, rigs, fairly simple, all blowbacks, lead core leaders, running leads. Everything nice and simple. Like I said, bait is tiger and maple boilies. Um, obviously, it's a bird seat based mix. Say about um, Blake done a fantastic cast. His first proper one on his own. Uh, he, Dropped it right on the wall. There's a nice shelf which jets off about 12 inches. Yeah, it's a place you want your baits. It's nice and hard. You're not in any chard or silt. And uh, he's done a superb cast. Landed right on the money. Perfect. So I'll sign off for now. And I'll get back to you in a bit. Hi, well, welcome back again. Um, 20 to 2 in the morning. Half past 1. Blake's left hand red rod roared off. And he's just landed. Not only his first canal carp. On his first night on a night fishing, um, but he's also broke his PB with a lovely scaly mirror of 12 and a half pounds. Well done, mate. Well done. So uh, I've sacked it for the night, um, put up a nice fight for him. So we'll get it out in the morning, get some photos done for him, get a bit on the camera for the blog, and uh, what a good start for a year on the canal. Bye. Well, morning. It's um, half past seven now. Lots and lots of bleeps on all the rods last night. Most of it down to the wind. It's been blowing a gale here. Rained all night. We've had a good night's kip on us, mate. Um, all we've got to show is the one fish so far. But um, we're here till about ten o'clock, so... Mornings are usually a pretty good time for a fish or two. So, a um, bit of a result that Blake had the one last night. Um, cracking looking fish, like I said, I'll, we'll get it out in a minute once the weather sorts itself out a little bit and we'll uh, get it photographed and put back. I've checked on it a couple of times in the night and it's fine. Uh, so I'll sign off for now and see you next time with the fish. Bye! He's a little bit lively because he's been in the sack. If we can get him up, we can have a little. Whoa! This fish is trying to kill himself. No, he's alright. He's alright. He's just lively, that's all. Is this why you was like when Luke was here? I need to hold him right. like this. Just have a look, you see. There you go, 12 pound 8. Fully scaled, ground western canal. No. Right, let's get him back. Yeah. I can't do it. It's too hard. Welcome back. Um, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Still raining. Wind's picked up. Got a southeasterly at the moment. It's quite chilly. Um, well, I think we're going to give it till half 12 and then we're going to pack up and go on. It's going to be a bit of a trek because we, we walked up here and pushed a barrel up. So we've got about a mile, mile and a half walk home in the rain. So that'd be good. Um, one thing I wanted to say was last night at about half past seven, we had a visit from Plod. Um, police constable come up to see us. 
had a report that there was a, a young lad camping unaccompanied on his own, which pretty obvious, I ain't a young lad, and it was pretty obvious I was with me boy. Um, the officer came out alert, took some details, was happy to go away, no bother at all. Then this morning, at about nine o'clock, I had another visit from the old Bill. Another report as well. And um, for whatever reason, these people are finding it to report me, but every time I come up here, I get it. Every time. But as every time comes, police turn up, they see me, they're more than happy, they know I'm fishing, and off they go. One of the best excuses was they had a report of a marquee up here with a load of revellers having a rave. And then the police turned up and saw me and my mate bivvied up with rods out fishing. And just a waste of police time, to be honest with you, when they could be doing something better. Um, got a good idea who it is, it keeps reporting it. There's a house on the opposite bank. A couple of old folk live in it. And I think they, think they own the canal. But um, never mind. I'm sure the next time I come up, police will be here again, as they usually are. Right. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Bye. This will probably be the last blog before we go home. So, Bye. thanks for watching. Bye.